Lost Outpost here is a fairly high mid-tier deathmatch map. It's nothing spectacular, and it doesn't really do anything, like, too unique. But it's just a generally good time with some, like, you know, good weapon placement, you know, good layout, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't really have any complaints about it. It looks alright, and uh, we're gonna test it out, because, you know, that's probably why we're doing this map video. As you can see, this is done by Steven Reichert Palmer, or is it Ray Hurt, or Reichert, or Galvatron? Anyway, um... This, uh, he, or, sorry, Steven here was, um, involved in Gearbox as a sort of network person, from what I understand. But they also ended up doing, uh, some of the level design work for, um, Half-Life Decay. And I think they did some programming work on the Brotherhood, Brother in Arms series that, you know, the, like, you know, that, that series. I don't know how much to say about that. I know it's a World War II series, but anyway, we're not talking about that. Um, so yeah, as you can see... We got some nice lighting. We got some 2-4-esque, esque, the sunset, sunset lighting here. So if you start here, grab these immediately because, you know, batteries are always nice. Uh, so this is a little bit of a complicated map. You're going to figure it out relatively fast, but, you know, your first couple minutes, you're going to be a little bit confused. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to this side of the map here. Uh, you, just so you know, this door opens, which is a rarity in deathmatch for me, and I'm actually kind of against this. I actually don't like doors like this and, like, you know, kind of deathmatch like this, because I want to be able to shoot through and, like, you know, throw explosives at you at all times, you know? You can't really chuck that claymore through the door and fail doing it if, the, like, the door's there. If you want to get out of this area real fast, you can take the ladder up here. There's no actual weapons or anything up here, uh, but you can use these crates to get down, and I think you might be able to jump back up. Um, I'm not gonna really go on it too, but if your jumping is good, you can actually stand on these ledges too. They'll be quick with it because obviously you're gonna be a sitting duck. Let's go this way now. Uh, here is the health charger. It's been used up, of course. This leads you to this kind of hub area. This is the most kind of connected area of the map. You got a lot of ways to go from here. Um, I'm gonna talk about it in just standalone first. So yeah, here you got some crossbows because there is the crossbow up there. If you want to get the crossbow, you got to get onto the ladder here, which again, you can use to get to another area. And now this little uh, area here is really unique because obviously there's the crossbow and it's really easy to get that. All you got to do is walk over and bam, it's yours. But if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of other little like, you know, um, areas you can climb up here. And that's important because, you know, obviously get the battery. Get the battery! If you can jump up here, you got the motherfucking displacer. Which, you know, is a hot ticket item some sometimes. Maybe it isn't, I don't know. I'm not into weapon marketing and stuff. Anyway, uh, so yeah, grab that. Um, we came from... Even I get this map a little bit confused. Yeah, we came from there. Um, let's go back this way because this leads back to the area with the door, as you see. And you can get an SMG, always good time. Keep in mind, this little pipe area here, we'll come back to that. Storage hatch of the drain, gotcha. You grab some, you know, magnum bullets. Um, before we go over here, I want to talk about the rest of the outdoor area. So you go through here, and you get this little area to hide. So, you know, that could be pretty helpful. Especially if you got, like, you know, uh, like a sniper or something, and you're willing to play with fire. Obviously, they'll watch out, because someone can flank you really easily. And that leads to the crate thing, and you cannot jump up the crates. Which I find weird, because it looks like they wanted you to be able to do that, but then, like, Steven or whatever changed their mind at a certain point. Um, keep this area in mind, too, because you could be firing through there with a uh, machine gun, causing some real pain. Again, you want to watch yourself, though, because obviously someone could come behind you at any moment and try to stop you from your happy fun times. You can also stand on the ledges there if you want a more, you know, like, kind of sneaky approach. We'll talk about where that goes later. You might already guess where that goes. I don't know. So let's head back this way real quick. You're going to see right there on the outside here, you got another little area to hide. What you want to do with your uh, rocket launcher here. Again, more of these storm hatches and stuff like that. If you want that long jump, it's really easy. You just got to get onto these, like, you know, boxes here. Get, do some jumping. Grab the um, Desert Eagle, potentially Magnum gun thing um, when you're while you're up there. Because, you know, that's always a good time guaranteed for all. Um, once I find my, uh, my bearings here, I just, I forgot where I, what I'm doing. Now, you got to be, it's got a little bit tricky, but it's not too hard. You got to do this. You get up there, and there you go. You got the long jump. Bam! Bam! Ba-bam! Ba-bam! Okay, anyway, um... So, yeah, let's go over here again real quick. So, we're in the strain hut. Like, you know, drain huts now. Drain hut. I, that's the wrong way to say it. 
Uh, we'll talk about what's down here later. You can get up from here if you know how to use your gauze jump correctly. This is a very boring ladder, which I'll discuss in a second. You know, grab the satchels and use them wisely. And grab some more supplies, explosive claymores, and this is where that um, one area leads to. Again, we'll talk about the pipes in a second. Get up here, though, and welcome to one of the best sniper spots in the whole game. I don't think I've seen another map with a potentially, like, more lethal sniper area because you can be shooting through here you can be shooting down there even through there if the person's foolish enough you can shoot over not so much over there but you know you can be shooting down here you can take the sniper rifle obviously and shoot wherever you want but damn that is a fucking stellar spot to start out with so anyway we're gonna drop down now so if you're in this area here grab the explosives or you know you can also shoot them too to have especially when it's all full cause a train reaction and kill who's ever here uh, you can grab the gauze if you want. And again, if you're good, you can, uh, you can, I, I'm, I want to show it off so badly. I want to show it off so badly. Please, please. You can get up there. I'm, I give up, but you can totally get up there. In fact, I think you can get through here too. You can do it. You can totally do it. I'm just, I can't show it off right now because I'm a fucking idiot. I'm, I'm swearing too much. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, here you go. This is how you can get up from there. So now you know. You can also go this way. Um, you grab a satchel. The, the lone satchel. And I think this leads to that other one. Yeah, this is leads to the, like, the long jump isk area. Keep that in mind. So now let's head back this way and talk more about the underground. We haven't really discussed that yet. Um, if you come out this way, you get this watery area here. And uh, it does. this might look like it's shallow, but it's not. This is actually fairly deep and leads to another area. But first... We're going to talk about here because this leads to the uh, central area again where we got the displacer. And yeah, you could all, uh, totally jump down and like shoot down from there. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up like, you know, the above ground. Let's go back this way real quick. That leads to, this is from where like that machine gun area was. Um, keep this in mind because you can grab a health kit and you can also get back down to this area. And this will lead you into like the final area we haven't really talked about yet. If Spy will move out of the way. There is no radiation hazard in this map. That is a complete lie. Now, this leads you to the last, like, sort of area. And before I talk about what's underwater, um, if you want to get... If you go down here, this leads from that one area I brought out, okay? Now, the reason I saved this for last is because, uh, Steven Palmer, the mad lad, this map has a shock, a shock roach in it, as all good opposing force maps do. But the mad lad put it right underwater. Right there. And like, obviously this water, it connects a few areas. So like, what what an absolute mad lad. I, I have mad respect. No one else is ballsy enough to do that. Anyway, let's talk about this final little area here. So, you got these barrels, which don't do shit. But you got to, uh, like, you know, magnum ammo. And you got some rocket launcher stuff. You also got one of the only instances of the PCV recharge unit in any of the official maps. Like, this thing shows up once. Once in the actual single player in the training mode. Not even in the actual single player. Like, what was the point? I don't get it. There's a lot of weird things like that in the opposing force single player, but we're not talking about that. Anyway, jump up here to grab the spore launcher. Always a good time. You can also come around this way. Uh, get a satchel. There actually really isn't anything of note here, but this is a good place to hide out if you're trying to, like, escape or you just try to take cheap pot shots. And then finally, you got this little, you know, vent here, which is, again, another little desert eagle, and it leads back to here. So yeah, I, I really like this one. I wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite map of all time, but I've had some good times with this one. Yeah. You know, is it called Lost Outpost because, you know, the outpost was lost to, like, you know, the war or struggle or whatever? Or did people forget where it was? Oh, and by the way, if you were expecting me to say anything other than eight players is what I recommend, then you're a freaking fool. I don't think you get much use out of that by standing on top of it. Look at it, it's sparking! You broke it! You're breaking it! Why are you breaking the valuable material, damn it? That's what you get, Aerith. You know, I find, kind of feel bad saying that this is like mid-high mid, mid -high tier-ish. It really is a high tier map, I just wouldn't really call it an absolute favorite. But yeah, this map's a hell of a lot of fun, actually. I kind of undersold it before, you know? Especially once you get up to the sniper den, which I gotta do. I totally gotta get up there. I wanna show off how, like, freaking devious that little spot is. Oh, and don't worry, if you're playing with, uh, JK Body here, I've actually gone up in that sniper area camp there, and they actually figured out to come get me. So that's impressive. Oh, that is so much fun. And now I can't remember to get into how to get into the sniper area. 
Good. No, that's great. I only played this map, like, you know what, earlier? And I forgot. I think I gotta go through here. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I'm about to die anyway. So, damn it! Oh, there we go. Well, it was a leg shot. I would, I would have preferred a headshot, but it was still one shot, one kill. But yeah, if I wasn't so close to death, I could show you more openly just how, like, how much you could just control this whole area. It's actually absurd. Yeah, and then that happens. Well, maybe I'll spawn there again soon. I think the match is almost over, though, so never mind. I don't know anything about anything. There we go. Yeah, we're a little better off this time. A little bit worse for wear, but, you know, that's not a problem. Now, let's see. Can I bring great justice? Well, no, because someone's got the machine gun. That's good. I like that. You fool! You fool! I, I totally hit him. Did you see that? I saw the blood fly there. He had his super mega god mode armor on, though. Well, I'll just kill a huge ass again. And I'm back down to one health. Yeah, so far this hasn't gone really well. I think he's trying to... Yeah, there you go. That's a little bit better. Someone just pops out and immediately you're already on him. I'm also like, you know, you can control other areas of the map too. I'm just so close to death that this is the best I could do. Well, at least I got to end the match on my own shot. So yeah, Lost Outpost. This is actually great. You should try it out.